All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my first review for a brand new television series which has premiered this June 2015 on both AMC and Channel 4 in the UK. This one is called Humans. Okay, and spoiler warning, if you guys have not seen any of the episodes of Humans yet, it's got two episodes of aired so far, and the third one is going to be airing this weekend. Um, the series is going to have, it looks like, eight episodes in total, and we'll have to see. It's doing pretty good right now. I think the first episode got like five or six million uh, views, which is which is pretty good uh, in the UK, I believe. So um, who knows if it's going to get like a second season, if it's just going to be the first season, and then after that, the story's going to be finished. Of course, we don't know how the first season's going to turn out and whether or not that's going to be the final uh, episode at episode eight or if they might get renewed for a second season or something we'll have to see so i got a chance to watch the first two episodes and man i gotta say this show is really incredible it's really really well done and uh, it's, it's probably the best thing i've seen for kind of that question of what will happen with uh you know artificial intelligence and technology when it when it gets further along um the plot or the idea behind humans is basically what we have are synthetic humanoid servants that serve our every whim so for example you could have them you know a family could buy one let's say like a gadget like you buy an ipod or a computer or a tv or something you could buy a synth and what they would do is they would do your cooking for you they would clean the house they would take you know i don't know uh you know make the kids uh, breakfast you know um, run a bath for them and do all those kind of different little things around the house that you know we kind of have to do manually they could automate for us uh, you could also have some more advanced ones that would take care of people who are elderly you know uh, check their vitals all the time monitor their diet make them special foods and make sure they eat certain things and take their medication and things like this and it's uh, it's a pretty interesting show. Uh, there's even there's even some that are used for uh, other purposes too in the show, such as like a kind of like um, uh, I want to say like a, a synth prostitution or whorehouse type thing where you have these synths and then people will go and they'll pay to uh, it, it, yeah that part's weird. Uh, but there's all kinds of uses for them. Drive you around and you know basically do a lot of the things in life that we do manually that they are they're able to automate by creating this AI. Uh, sy synthetic android person uh, with our with our physiology that could go and kind of do everything we do uh, for us. So that's the idea behind the show. That's the basic premise. You have a family that basically buys a synth named Anita, and what they don't know is that this synth is not a regular synth. There's a small group, I believe it's I think it's like six, five or six or something like that, where they have basically been tampered with by a, a, a mad doctor, so to speak who has given them the capacity to think for themselves and feel. So you have most of the synths are totally subservient, like a computer. They don't do anything of, on their own accord. They do everything according to your command, right? But then we have this really small uh, group of like five or six, and they're being hunted by uh, you know a government uh, agency, I guess, or something of the sort, uh, this kind of concept. And they're able to think, okay, and, and fend for themselves and be kind of self-aware and conscious, so to speak. But they're still AI. They're not, you know, uh, biological flesh and brains and, you know, uh, and chemical. They're, they're just androids, basically. So, you know, it brings in some of those really interesting questions about kind of from a computer science perspective uh, and technology once we get to that point where, you know, it's kind of the whole idea of Terminator robots taking over, that kind of thing. Um, you know, so that's why the government's kind of hunting them down. They're, they're scared of them because they it, once if they're able to get to that point and someone actually programmed them to be able to do that, what would stop them from kind of turning against us and what would make them want to still be subservient to us if they were able to be self-aware and think for themselves and have their own consciousness? So it brings in a lot of really advanced, uh, you know, kind of, it's like a it's like a simulation of, of a parallel reality, a parallel reality right now where that we would have these kinds of, of AI te technology, these AI synths, and the, the select few uh, that are being hunted, what would what would it be like for them and what would what would they do and what would we do? Because obviously we wouldn't want to have ones that would fend for themselves and not be subservient and kind of just live 
live for their own means, right, live for themselves, we would want them to be totally subservient to us. So it just brings in a lot of these really interesting kind of AI type questions and, uh, you know, stuff that I really enjoy seeing, which is that kind of futuristic what if type scenario of eventually, and they talk even about singularity and uh, if, if the machines are able to kind of surpass us, uh, will we become extinct and will they be the future if they can think for themselves and be self-sufficient? And who knows how long they could live for as long as they don't get destroyed. You know, they're not bound by their biological physiology and their lifetime. They could potentially live even longer and back themselves up to some kind of server over the Internet or something and then, and then live for whoever knows how long. So, uh, you know, it brings in all these different interesting questions and it's, it's got some really, it's really, it's, it's really well thought through. You have certain characters where like the, the girl who's going to high school who's gifted and uh, they're telling her you could be a doctor and she's saying, okay, so I go to med school or I go to you know, university for seven years to become a doctor. And then what, like, you know, uh, they take some synth and, and they just, you know, download everything to them. Uh, to that and then he can just replace me just like that because you know you're able to take this this uh, ai and just download everything you they would need to know within like a few seconds and they would be able to know more than you would what's the point and it really brings it into to play some interesting questions about about purpose in life and doing things and how much do you want to automate of your life you know how much do humans want automated you know and do we still want to have a purpose, want to live, and want to do things, you know, because uh, the purpose, at, at least with a lot of people believe when it comes to being human, uh, and, and our purpose is to do, you know, uh, a chicken uh, lays eggs because it does, that's, it's, it's born, that's the way it's wired, and it does it because it does, and we are, we are born to do as well. Um, but how much do we want to do and how much do we want to automate and to what point? Uh, and how would you feel about your life and kind of your life purpose if you felt like no matter what you did, no matter what you learned, a machine could just surpass you in almost no time? So, um, you know, obviously in the real world, we're not quite there yet. Uh, maybe not in our lifetime will we see anything like this. But it really is interesting for kind of that imaginative uh, comp sci kind of sci-fi part of things of eventually what will happen when when you get to that AI to that extent uh, and what will happen to us and also uh, how will they be treated and, uh, and if they start to feel uh, or if you have a certain select ones that do feel how would that work so it's a great show it's really really a lot of fun I enjoyed it a lot it's one of the best premieres I've seen for a while and I'm definitely going to check out the first season of eight episodes in terms of a score for the first episode uh, I think I'm going to give the pilot a 9.5. I enjoyed it so much. I really like Anita. I like the family. I like the concept. And I think it's really cool for kind of that imaginative uh, side of, of the future of AI and, and its application uh, in, in real life. Because if you think ahead, probably the number one application would be to automate you know, things that we don't want to do in our lives as much as possible. I've even heard about McDonald's, um, that certain McDonald's are getting robots to just automate everything so that you you know can you imagine going to mcdonald's and like speaking in a speaker and not have a single living person in the entire restaurant or the entire mcdonald's and it would just you know automatically would make all your food everything you go to the drive through you pay and it would just give you your you know just give you your thing and it's all machine it's just a uh, crazy future possibly so uh interesting concept so i really want to hear your guys comments on this one if you saw humans write your comments below if you didn't and you're just uh, interested in the concept Definitely check it out and write your comments below on what you think about uh, robots taking over, so to speak. <laughs> so, uh, what happened if they ever turn on us and become sentient? Um, it really just, uh, the show kind of, it kind of blew my mind. It was just so many awesome things I hadn't even thought about with regards to the topic of kind of everyday life in this kind of show scenario simulation. That's just really cool to see. So let me know what you guys think about it. If you got a chance to check it out, what your favorite character is. And uh, yeah, man, I love the premiere of Humans. I can't wait to see the rest of the series. Write your comments below. If you like the video, please thumb it up below. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, you can go ahead and subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for this one, guys. I'll see you again real soon. As always, it's Trev. I'm saying peace.